Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this elastic band powered car right here. Now at any point in the video, if you want to skip ahead, you can just check the description below and see what time different points of the build occur at. And then you can just click on those times to fast forward to that point in the build. So to start off the build, we're going to grab two long pieces of dowel, 12 inches each, and two shorter ones. And we're going to glue together a nice simple base. Now around one of those short dowels, we want to keep a elastic band, and we're going to tie another elastic band onto that. Now we want to cut out something for our axles to rotate inside of. So I just used a piece of straw, and we're going to cut one piece on each side of the um, base. Now I grab this tune-up kit, that's from the dollar store, and these wheels here are from the tune-up kit. Now I'm just going to glue them onto a um, toothpick, and one wheel on each side, and that serves as our wheel and axles. And as you can see it slides forward and backwards. Now we're just going to attach one more elastic band onto it. Now this fan here I got from the dollar store as well. You can use any propeller that you have that you can find. And these spacers here are from the tune-up kit as well. I'm going to start off by gluing a toothpick to the propeller. And then one of the spacers are going to um, be glued onto the propeller as well. These are going to help reduce friction. So that spacer is glued and then we're going to have one that spins freely, touching the other spacer. Now I cut out a straw. This is going to be used for the uh, propeller to rotate inside of. And I'm going to build a base to mount this propeller. Now we, it's important that you make sure our base is high enough up that your propeller won't be hitting anything and we're just going to have the propeller spinning inside a straw so the straw is at the very top of the base that we that were making now once we put the next spacer on we can push that through and it spins freely now i'm just going to glue another small piece of toothpick on and this is going to be to help mount the elastic band So as you can see, the elastic band just goes around that second piece of toothpick I glued on and attaches to the axle that way. And then we'll just add some glue so nothing falls apart. Now we can wind it up and let it go. And then for one last test, you can see it from the side here. We wind it up and spins like that and you saw the other tests in the beginning thanks for watching to the end of my video feel free to like and subscribe and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one to see my other projects and buy parts you might need you can check out my channel or my website joshbuilds.com you can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content thanks